we've waited quite some time for this day and um, yeah come on welcome to the beekeepers apothecary <laughs> Just got rose butt. Did. Okay, so yeah, this has been the day that we have been waiting for for quite some time. And that is the fact that we can finally bring in all of our herbs. And so my mom and I spent a good little bit getting all of the herbs, not all of the herbs, but a good portion of the herbs put in jars. And so temporarily, we're gonna actually put them in this cabinet, but we are still going to build a wall, a floor to ceiling, shelf. full length shelf um, that's gonna go over on that side. But for right now, we're gonna use what we have and uh, yeah, finally get them on display. They're absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, so we're on to M. Marshmallow. So what do you think the two most exciting things that happened this week in the apothecary? I can, I, I know we're on the same page. I didn't get to be here for oh, the delivery of the quartz. So yeah. I was really, I gotta admit, I was kind of jealous about that. Well, but I, it worked out perfect because there was even another surprise that happened. So we got two surprises in one day. Which I can't share that surprise uh, quite yet. I'm gonna record that video. I gotta tell, well actually no, I take that back. I did share that surprise of the new baby yeah but i have to tell the story okay. and that's something i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring my camera out tomorrow i'm probably gonna freeze my butt off because it's gonna be cold <laughs> but play. do it before one because I, I think that's when it's gonna we're start. getting hit with a snowstorm <laughs> so but yeah the countertops came in they are and even more beautiful than what i it's they just they sparkle yep. they sparkle and they're, they've got some peach i've never and had pink i've never had real countertops no this is my first piece of granite that i've ever you know had picked out top five for us for the i know <laughs> We, I've never had it either. I've never had real countertop. We searched high and low, and every single time we came back, we came back to this one. Yeah. And and then well, we it even, just it hit. It hit all of our colors. Yeah. And it's just it financially it's financially. So here's the thing, okay? This little hunting cabin has been oh, it's been a labor of love from okay? the get. From the get. Yeah. From the get. It's been all hands on deck. And there are, I mean, I look at this and I see my son and my husband milling the wood. I see my daughter and us staining the boards. 
I see my dad coming in and putting in these cabinets and fix getting these cabinets. I mean, yeah. like I see, I see all of it. Yeah. Now, what it financially? We really did a good job on. We there were a couple of things that we like, got. So all the cabinets. Okay, let's talk yeah. about this. Yeah. This is not even. This is just a portion, not Order. even half. This a is third. about a, a, yeah, a third of the cabinets that we were able to pick up. We picked up a whole, whole lot of trailer them full for two hundred dollars. Yeah, we redid them, and we have one, two, three, four, five, we, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 in here and then the other cabinets that we're going to redo are going to go up to the barn and that's coming too yeah. i can't wait to talk to you guys about that so but on that note because of the cabinets they're real steel they're so heavy <laughs> they're so heavy so we learned a lesson we had to reinforce the bottom of the <laughs> a cabin because of the fact that they're so heavy and then the countertop okay so the furniture that we got i yeah. spent what do we spend 40 bucks Leather? Probably, yeah, 40 bucks and 40 bucks in fuel. No, <laughs> maybe $10 in fuel. Jesus. So we, we got some secondhand furniture, the leather furniture, but I went ahead and restained it, redid oh. the leather, and it's beautiful, and they're comfy, and they're cozy, and they fit this building yep. like and to the T. Yep, and and then we got a rug and decided that rug wasn't going to work, so, so we, we had to get a, another rug. Yeah, and this rug works a lot better. And yep. then what else? So all the wood, all the walls, we, we milled ourselves. Stained. Stained ourselves. Hung. The kitchen sink. That was That was a find out of West Virginia. Um, yeah. From a fellow canner. Beautiful. And old, she was yep, old she was farmhouse. sad to see it go. And 15, it's a what did you spend? Fifteen dollars? I, I yeah, that and then it came with all those landscaping bricks. Yes, which that's another project I haven't talked if to them. Got them all. I haven't talked to them about yeah, that project know. yet. Just shh, there's something that's coming outside, but we'll we're gonna, that's going to be like our next year project. Um, Maybe. I mean, really, like we we definitely did this on a on a a re re. We did it the best we could, considering a lot of there. Yes, there are some new things in here. Yeah. But we have reused, repurposed. We that's that was um, our kind of our recycled. Main, definitely recycled. Um, I mean, you know, we did. This was fun. This was it, fun. I mean, and this was like a labor of love that you can smile all the way through it. What's interesting is like I was telling our, our we had a couple of friends come over. And I'm like, I we are not interior decorators, but I feel like we did a pretty dang good oh, job. I said we knocked it out. We apart. did, we did, and we got some colors in here. You know, we got like just some fun, but, but we brought in the herbs. Yeah, we welcomed them in today. That was officially. something that we have been wanting to do for a while. So my mom and I, we gathered all of our herbs. And we, not actually, we, we still have a little bit more. We ran out of jars. We have three totes still. Yeah. Full. So we ran out of some jars. That's okay. That's but right. That's fine. Um, we're going to assess. I think I've got some quart sized jars that we can use. Yeah. So we wrote all of the labels. We did do the scientific name as well as where we got them um, on the back and then the name. And then the other thing is, is this whole time, all of our herbs that we have been gathering, whether we've wildcrafted, whether we've purchased, we have documented, my mom's documented, um, all of the herbs, Spreadsheet. where they came from. Their batch uh, numbers, if it had it. All of it. We both want to use the best that we possibly can. Right. To make the best herbal uh, medicinal medicine that we, we possibly can. This is where we're at right now. We brought in the herbs and we got the countertop and we got to decorate. Yep. And got to eat some great food and share. Share. We broke bread in here. We did. Um, inside the apothecary. We've had pizzas and stuff outside and burgers, but we actually got to break bread and eat here last night. Um, that was a lot of fun and. Um, that was something, that was something I had said, I'm gonna cry. I had said from the beginning, I can't wait till we can have our first family meal out here and, um, and share that. And we had good food and we, we all 
Um, we're missing some family members. Yeah, but we were missing some family members, and we got to make a phone call about that one. But we had good food, yeah. and we all just kind of relished on, you know, the effort. The, this is the fruit of the effort of the work that was put in here. Yeah. And it was all put in here with love. And that, you know, what's the best way to celebrate that? But together with each other, yeah. eating a meal, and, and just in, you know, the time to glow a little bit. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So, but yeah, I this think place has a lot of love in it. How about we, your favorite saying, and I think we need to make that into a sign. What's that? Go where the love is. Go where the love is. Go where the love is. Yep. Yep. And that. So hopefully this is, this will be the place. Yeah, I think so. I've got, I'm excited to be able to help the people that are wanting to help themselves. Yep. I'm excited to be able to share the knowledge that we and the excitement that we've had in this, this whole time. <laughs> oh yeah. And um, I'm excited to see what the next chapter looks like. Yeah. This is page one. It's the preface. Maybe 20, page 20. Maybe <laughs> page 20. <laughs> this is page 20. <laughs> I'm I excited. It's the preface. It's <laughs> the part before the book. <laughs> I don't know. We've it's had, part of the book. This is one of the chapters. Yeah. This is one of the chapters. So. Um, but yeah, this is the Beekeepers Apothecary. Yeah. And um, may only good things flow. I think it's going to be a great place. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to get these herbs in. We have got the work is just beginning. Oh yes, <laughs> it's just beginning. We have so much more to do, and um, yeah, let's see what happens. It's going to be a good thing. It's I, I know it's going to be a good thing. Yeah. Um, Remember what I said. Let's just stop saying it's going to be. And it, it is. It is. It That's is. It's the positive affirmation. It is. A good it is okay, thing. and it is a good thing, and this is. This is good. just the beginning of what's to come. No, oh, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough round. I'll go to bed. <laughs> it's been a long day. We've been up getting this together, and um, came out here even after dinner late, just because we're so excited to to see this through. We still have a little bit more to do, but yeah. I um, think we're what about two thirds of the way through yeah. the dried herbs. We still have powdered herbs, and I still have tinctures. I got well, a lot I'm of, just talking about the 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 the, the core. About two thirds. Yeah, I think so. maybe half. I think so. Somewhere between there. Yeah. We're gonna. So the next project in here is the shelf. Yeah, on this yes. Wall. We will get the shelf. <laughs> For right now, though, this this is good. Yep. This is definitely good. Well, we'll keep you guys posted. We're kind of already starting to talk about how we're going to start introducing some of the herbs to you all. Um, we're thinking about maybe uh, one herb a month. Um, I think maybe a little more. Maybe a little more, um, but I, I want to introduce these herbs to you guys and see if you can incorporate them into your life. And of course, some of the herbs, especially with tea, pair it with some honey because, you know, we're beekeepers too, so. We will definitely continue to take you guys along uh, with us on this journey as we dive in. Yeah, dive in. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. And learn something old. Good night, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>